Mitchell from Waffle TV and we're here today with Mark Restuccio. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm brilliant. Actually, I'm not at all. I'm hungover. So, <laughs> I'm in a really bad way. So, just always you have to say you're well, don't you? Yes. No one cares. <laughs> really. So tell us a bit about your show. Uh, it's about uh, my internet dating addiction um, that uh, has lasted 10 years. And uh, it's, it's basically half of it's how to do it and what I've learned. And then the other half is me. Uh, uh, just watching my misery, yeah. <laughs> what I've turned into <laughs> in the last 10 years, so uh, uh, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you want to get into comedy? Uh, I didn't want a proper job uh, and I'm quite lazy so I thought well working 20 minutes a day would be a lot better for me uh, and work out quite well. So uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. My, my thinking behind that. <laughs> And you uh, were a finalist in the 2011 BBC New Comedy Awards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, it was horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> it was really scary because it's all live and, yeah. and it's, it's uh, I wasn't, well, I know it's not live, but then it's live on the radio, but you're, yeah. you're told like minutes before, you're like, don't swear, don't go over time, and uh, so that's it. Yeah. And you're panicking about that, you've got no clock, the clock's not even in real time, so you kind of have to work out how long you've got, it's like, it's horrible. Oh, God, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, it was fine. But um, I did I did really well in the heat in the semi final, but um, in the final I was like I was fine. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad story, isn't it? But, yeah. Um, so uh, what would you be doing? Do you think if you weren't doing comedy? Uh, crying. <laughs> um, uh, what would I be doing? I'd probably be still be doing my little sound editing stuff that I used to do. And I used to be a little geek, and um, yeah, I did. Yeah, right. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'd probably still be doing that and I wouldn't be crying because like, it's so boring. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's, it's awful. But actually, it's not awful, it's just that like, I've been doing it for 15 years and it's just boring. You get producers sort of barking at you. And this yeah. is a really boring conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I'm just boring. Uh, well, you've done some voiceover work, haven't you? A lot of voiceover work, yeah. but I've just done an advert actually uh, just now. How cool, uh, what for? Uh, it's I'm allowed to say. <laughs> so, You're not allowed to say. It's like a car <laughs> buying firm or something oh, right. like that. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I do, yeah, I do voiceover stuff, which is uh, much better money than stand up. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing stand up actually. It's like, <laughs> I'm thinking about it, I was thinking about it today. Why am I? <laughs> um, yeah, it's good actually. It's a real nice little life fun because you can do that in the day and then in the night you can dick around. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is there anything we would recognise that you've done? Um, well, I do uh, documentary stuff. Oh, right, cool. so I've done a couple of Channel 5 documentaries. I do little promos for Discovery, so little adverts for Discovery programs, so, yeah. you know, things like that. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Bits and bobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so how long have you been performing at the Fringe for? Um, this year, or just how many have I done? I've done how many four. years and how many shows have you done? I've so done four. Well, this is my first solo. Yeah. But, like, the, I did um, a two-hander a couple of years on the trot, and then I did the Pleasant Comedy Reserve oh, yeah. thing. And then I had a year off last year because I, I had loads of gigs abroad and thought that's much nicer. And then, yeah, this year's my first solo. Alright, cool. So You're enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. I thought, I thought it'd be really easy. <laughs> I'm really prepared well. I was just like, ah, oh, this, yeah. this will be uh, easy. But it's, yeah, it's hard. It's up and down. So you get some really good ones and I've had a couple of stinky ones and yeah. kind of alright ones. And, and it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit. Yeah, I just try not to drink too much yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it should be fine. Yeah. Have yeah. you had any uh, memorable performances this year? Uh, yeah, I died, <laughs> died on my arse a couple of nights ago. That was pretty memorable. Uh, you always remember the bad ones, you see. Uh, uh, and yeah, no, I had the first night, it was really, really good. And I got two reviews that were completely conflicting one really, really good one, and one really, really crappy one. Oh. So I was a bit annoyed about that, actually. And, um, and then. Yeah, I've had a couple of smashes, and then, yeah, but I <laughs> just remember the really bad ones. Yeah. Just, like, oh, why? Don't know, Do like, you ever get problems from hecklers? Uh, a few, yeah. Not up here, though, it's because it's your own show. You can't, yeah. it's, it's a bit difficult. You can't do a little jungler's leads put down or, or anything. But not, you can't sort of have a go at people because then the whole yeah. room just goes, who's this? What are you doing? Um, so you've got to be careful. That's what I'm learning, actually, most yeah. how to deal with it in a nice way. Uh, so, yeah, which is hard. <laughs> uh, so, have you seen it so far? Are you going to see any? Uh, yeah, I've seen Paul F. Taylor, who is absolutely, I would say that's my favourite show, yeah. the Paulie show. Um, and 
Rachel Stubbins is excellent. Um, and I suppose I haven't really seen much because I'm saving it for next week because I thought I know so I've been getting drunk <laughs> as well. So I've been <laughs> up the time. Uh, and obviously uh, Nick Helm is very good as well. Um, and David Trent I recommend. But I'll probably go see that next week. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so why should people come and see your show? Why? Because uh, it's very informative, uh, uh, especially if you've done internet thing, there's a few tips and everything, and it's very funny, and there's lots of silly little slides as well <laughs> to look at. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, a little eye opener if you haven't done internet dating, and then you can see if you like looking at little mental breakdowns, you can, uh, you can come see my show. <laughs> so, when and where is it on? It's on at the Gilded Bloom, the third door Gilded Bloom, uh, every night at 9.30, except for the 13th. Oh, brilliant. Well, it's been really great speaking to you. Oh, you too. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm Alison Shale, and you've been watching Waffle TV. Cheers.